I'm Ethan Kwan, and today I'm going to be showing you part part uh, nine of how to make a marble race. Part nine is how to make a teleporter. Now, a teleporter is basically if you put a block, um, if you put a teleported block down, and let's color it red, and we have to glue the background. If something touches this object, it should go, it should teleport to somewhere, somewhere else, but it doesn't right now. So let's fix that. Uh, what we do is we right click the object and we go to um, script menu. Now don't be overwhelmed by this tab. Um, it's not that complicated. So, um, okay, so what do we do now? Uh, we What we do is we put in the on collide section, we put e dot other inside the curly brackets e dot other dot um, pos position um, equals um, square bracket um, and then put and then close square bracket and inside the square brackets put your coordinates. I'm going to choose zero comma two. So and whenever anything hits this block. Uh, it will go to the position 0, comma to watch. See? And we can do that again. And 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 again. Ooh. Fancy. Um, and again. And again. And again. And again. Now this can be really fun. I'm sorry. I'm gonna destroy it. Um, there we go. Destroyed the tower of um, shapes. Uh, anyway, so that's how to make a teleporter. But how do you make a teleporter? Um, if you want it to teleport, let's say if we clone this block, let's say if we want it to go from the red block to the green block. How do we make it go from the red block to the green block? In other words, we want, if a circle is placed here, when it hits the teleporter, it should go over here and fall back down. That's what we want. How do we do that? Well, we click the green block, and what we do is go to script menu again, and um, delete the code here, so delete that. Um, oops. Um, so it's like that. And then you can put in post step. This will make it run over and over and over. Keep running. You put um, scene.my.ver1 equals um, POS position. Okay. We have that. Okay, now what we do is go into the red block and and go to the script. And what we do is instead of 0, 2, we can get rid of the square bracket entirely. Uh, we can put e dot other dot position equals um, scene dot my dot var1. Now var1 just means variable 1. You don't have to use var1. You can just use any other variable like position or something like that. But yeah. Okay. So now what happens when we drop something on this block? Yay! It goes to that block. And of course we can make it an infinite loop by just putting this under here and boom. This is too fun. Um, there we go. There we go. Okay. So there we go. Now, of course, if you wanted to do another block, you're going to have to do ver2. Because if we try and do the same thing, if we clone this, and if we drop something into this guy here, for example, this square, it goes to that. 
and yeah. <laughs> um, okay. Anyway. Uh, yeah, anyway, sorry, I'm just having fun. Yeah, that's how you make a teleporter in Albudu. Thanks for watching, you guys. Um, I hope you share this video. Um, if you don't, well, I hope you subscribe and like this video. That was part, part 9. See you at part 10, how to make a gravity pad. Bye.